Well, hello there, vaping chums. Thank you very much for joining me again on this, uh, what day is it today? Monday evening here in the UK. It's been a lovely day, a little bit of sun. I've got a little bit of pinkness on my face. But there we go, all good stuff. Now, I have got a little vlog for you tonight. I'm gonna to try and keep it short because I've noticed that there aren't that, there isn't a huge amount of interest in the vlogs, but for those of you that are interested, I want to let you know what I've got coming up and what I've been up to, because I think I missed one last month. Um, right, so let's have a look. I actually made some notes tonight for a change. Um, Saturday, Saturday just gone, uh, was Vape Jam UK. Now that was an exciting, exciting time. It was my first um, expo, if you like, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. When we got there, it was it was clearly very juice inspired. There's huge amounts of juice available um, and a, a, a lot of vendors, a lot of vendors over from the States, as well as UK vendors, excuse me, um, which was cool. So I managed to get to try out a bunch of juices. Um, it, there was there was a pretty good variation. I mean, from a hardware point of view, there were some. Um, obviously, you had uh, people like Flawless there, um, and and a few others selling so, uh, sort of decent levels of hardware. But um, it was it was predominantly uh, juice inspired. So it was it was a good time. It was a good time. I got to sort of meet a bunch of people and and hang out with uh, with some uh, um, some friends. So it was it was fun. Uh, who did I get to hang out with? There was uh, Rick from modmaker.co.uk, a fantastic place to buy all your modding stuff. Um, I've really got to stop saying um. I've been quite good on that recently. Don't know why I've got back to it. Anyway, um, Rick was cool. I've got to hang out with him for a bit, talk a bit, see uh, his new boxes that he's got coming out, his new enclosures uh, that are on his website at the moment. Fantastic little single 18650 batteries plus your chip. Nice little space in there. Slightly smaller than a, a, a G box. So very good. Definitely worth checking out. And as I mentioned on one of my mod building videos, he's also providing a kit kind of thing now where you get to choose which enclosure you have, which connectors you have, which buttons you have. And there's little drop down boxes for everything, which is super useful if you're interested in making your first um, or you're interested in making any mods. It's certainly very worthwhile going and checking that out. Who else did I see? Martin Parker, got to have a chat with Martin Parker. He has no idea who I am, obviously, but um, it was good. He was a really nice guy. He was a really nice guy. I've seen uh, a bunch of his videos and he was an interesting chap to talk to. He's, he's clearly very enthusiastic and, and a nice chap to go along with it. So that was cool. Who else? We had Jabo from Jabo Designs, uh, the Bambino guy. Now, how cool is this bloke? Seriously, he's he's awesome. Really, really nice guy. And coming up, and coming up for review is something that I've been rocking recently. But it's the new Jabo mod, uh, not mod, atomizer, RDA. It's the indestructible. And oh. It's good. It is good. But I'll go into that in proper detail with a uh, full review to hopefully tomorrow after I've lived with it for a few days. So I started vaping on it on Saturday night and been vaping on it all day Sunday, all day today. Give another blast of it tomorrow. I'm just trying out some nickel coils in here for a change just to see how that rolls. But it's going fantastically and I think there is some kind of magic wizardry elfish business going on there because there's an insane amount of airflow for what I imagined was going to be quite tight. So that's fantastic. What else we've got? We've got, ah, oh, there's a guy, I haven't got his card. Uh, there's a guy who was working on a Namba Juice stall who is, I think they're one of the only um, Namba Juice suppliers in the UK. A really, really nice guy. He gave me and Rick, where is it? Have I even got it in here? I may not have it in here with me. No, I don't think I have. Uh, one of the new cult line from uh, Groom Green juices to try out, and I will be doing a review for that, and I'll be putting all the details from the from the chap in there as well, as well as giving me a lovely T-shirt as well, which is super. So all over that, even if it is a little bit on the snug side. I like to think I'm very manly for it. Turns out I'm just a fat fucker. 
But who else? Ah, obviously Phil and Dimitri. Phil Basado and Dimitri the Vaping Greek. Oh my God, how good are they? Now I'm not really a fanboy kind of kind of chap. I don't really go gushy about people. People are people. That's that's as far as it goes. But both of these guys were getting hounded all day. Understandably, being the hashtag famous people that they are, but. They were, they, they were just so courteous, really happy to be there, really nice guys, and really happy to take time out. And it surprised the crap out of me, in as much as I didn't expect them to be assholes, but at the same time, you know, I, the first time I spoke to them, they were, they were sort of going down some aisles, and they were, they'd just come off stage, and they were really thirsty, and they wanted to get to the, to the, uh, to the uh, stall at the other end of this aisle. And... I had a quick chat with them. I said, right, I'll catch up with you later on and hopefully have a bit more of a chat then and maybe a photo. And they said, yeah, cool, no worries. We're gonna, we've got to go down because we've just gone to stay really, really thirsty, really need to, to get a drink. Okay, I said, that's fair enough. And off I pooled. I had a little bit of a limp around and he, uh, the, the guys were still standing. Well, they were standing about kind of 10 foot further down the line than when I left them, by the time I came back, which was quite, probably 15, 20 minutes, half an hour later. And so the poor buggers still hadn't managed to get back to go and get a drink. And, and still they were smiling and happy and nice and chatty and just top blokes for hitting that kind of level of the of the of the vaping world, I guess. You know, it's it's I don't know. What do you expect? I mean, for me personally, I think that's just super cool. So really, really nice guys. Really nice guys. What have I got coming up as a result of Vape Jam though? I did purchase some bits and bobs and I did get given some bits and bobs. Now I don't ordinarily spend too much time reviewing juices because I prefer getting involved with hardware because juices are so subjective. However, I do like to do a juice now and then, especially if I find something I really like. And I've got a few coming up. I have, what have we got here? Oh. Now this isn't the review for this guys, but it is going to give you a little bit of an idea about what's coming up. Now not all of these were given, but a portion of them were. I did actually part with hard earned cash for some of the stuff. Now, we've got the full range of um, Mr. Good Vape, which is this, this business here. We've got the full range of that to go through. Um, and alongside that, we have, I think this is all distributed by Vaporized. We also got a lovely box of liquid juice. Strange name, that, liquid juice. Is it going to be hard juice? <laughs> but we're going to be giving a, a look through those. And we've also got... I don't know how I feel about these ones yet, but we'll give it a go. And we'll see what's, uh, what's what. The artist collection from Enjoy. So we'll see how we're going with those bad boys. Interesting times with that, I think. Lovely presentation, if nothing else. So that's good. What else? What else have we got? Um, I purchased some thry, 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 How do you pronounce that? Thryac? Is that how you pronounce it? Thryac? It kind of makes sense with an inverted E. I don't know. I've got some of that. Um, the Arbutum. Because I thought that was really, really nice. Uh, I got some Element Vapor stuff, which I thought was super. I got some Mad Mike's. Uh, yeah, this I think is lovely. I bought, bought this one, Eve's Addiction from Mad Mike's. Um, I thought this was really, really nice. It's nice and kind of apple-y and, and sweet, which was super. So I've got a bunch of stuff to review there on the juice lines. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it, because I think if you watch me uh, vape on every single one of them, you'll be bored senseless, and I'll be nicking my tits off, which would be interesting. But... I'll have a little think about the best way of doing that. Got a bunch of Suicide Bunny stickers as well. 
and I think a number of these will be going in a giveaway in the near future. So that's good. What else have we got? We have got, I got a tugboat V2 in the zombie blood splatter. This is just the cap at the moment because I also got the um, comp cap to go with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a review on the Tugboat V2 purely because loads of people have done it. It's not, it's not a new product. Loads of people have done it. I may include this comp cap though because I don't, I haven't seen anyone with the, the review of this one, but I may be just out of the loop. But you can see all those air holes going on there. And it is a bit of a beastie. So it certainly chucks. And that's with batteries that are on the way out as well. So yeah, that's interesting. Is the tugboat everything that everybody makes out it to be? To be honest, I'm not really, not really seeing it. I mean, it's well made, but, and I've got to send an email to Flawless about this one. I do have uh, one of the, one of the negative posts seems to want to snip any wire that goes through it of any size. So you can imagine the fun I had trying to put Nichrome through that bad boy at a 30 gauge. That didn't happen. So I ended up, I think I've got 24 gauge uh, in here at the moment and even without really welling it up it still managed to snap a couple of the uh, snap a couple of the wires which meant muchos, muchos swearing and muchos recoiling but it's certainly a pleasant atty is it a atty that's value for money I, I don't know so leave that one with me that may or may not get review or at least I may mention the, the chuff cap a little bit more once I've had more builds in it and I've had more of a chance to play with it. Um, what else? What else? What else? I've got, as I mentioned earlier, the Jabo, the Indestructible, which I'm just, I mentioned it earlier on about the, the airflow, but I do need to, to check with him about this. But I think I measured these airflow holes at about two and a quarter mil each. So there's two of those on each side. And... It just seems like there's a buttload more airflow from somewhere, but it, it, I don't know. It's magic. It's very good though. But I've had a couple of different builds in that to, uh, recently. And today I put a Nichrome build in there with uh, 30 gauge spaced coils at 10 wraps a side. And that, that's not working out too badly. It's not a cloud chaser for what I've got set up. This is a, uh, this is a mod that I threw together with the SX350J chip in it. Um, it's a bit ropey to be fair and I've got some finishing to do on there and the board is on the piss which is never a good thing. If I hold it like that the board's kind of straight. Um, but yeah it's my kind of dual 18650. How's your father? It's not a cloud chaser build, but it's it's quite nice, and I'm getting used to the uh, holder temperature control aspect now, and I'm loving it. It's really really nice. Oh, one of the things I have got to tell you about, which I'm incredibly thankful for, is uh, Josh at Stash E Liquids um, was kind enough to send me through the range of Stash E Liquids. And if you saw my review on uh, the Lushington, the Forever Young and Dark Star that I did last week, you'll know that I was a big, big fan. Now, so far, out of the ones that I've tasted, I'm sorry to say that they're all fucking awesome. Um, there was, there's Valhalla, which is the new one to the range, which is a key lime pie. And I hate lime. I hate lime in, in juice with a passion. So I thought that was going to be the one that was going to break me. That was going to be the one that I'd have a vape on. Go, miss the mark. I found the one that I don't like. Um, however, vaped it yesterday. and Oh my word. It is a perfect balance of, of, 
of lime and the the, the pie the, the the kind of the 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 the, the biscuit pastry-ish kind of undertone usually you get one that's more overpowering you know you get the washing up flavor lime which is vile and the, or you get the 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 kind of the biscuity pie aspect of it that just overpowers everything else and gives you a nasty taste in your mouth valhalla does not do that and it's stunning so i mentioned before that he is a wizard for sure and confident he is confident he is because all the juice is superb i've got in in here at the moment i've got my sweet one which is rather splendid as well well that's nice um but i will be doing a review on those because i bloody love them and i think everybody should try them if they haven't tried them already uh, but once again, taste is subjective, so make up your own mind, blah, 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 blah. So what else have I got in my notes? Uh, coming up, the Indestructible. Yes, I've talked about that. It's still awesome. Tugboat V2, still unsure about that one. Oh, I know what I've got. I've also got a Royal Hunter. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, this came through the post today. So I will be giving this a little blast from the Council of Vapors. Um, I got my one from, I think the guys at Grey Haze. So I'll be going through a full review of this once I've got, uh, got, to, got used to playing with it. So far tonight, I've just put a parallel dual build in there of 26 gauge, I believe. Is it 26 gauge? Yes, 26 gauge. And that's coming out at around about the the uh, around about the point two mark, I think. Certainly chucking. Is it monster mega dark clouds? <sighs> No, so I'm going to try a few more builds on that. Maybe the parallel build isn't really quite as beefy as it should, as it could be, to be honest. Yeah. Surprisingly, though, the taste isn't bad. And it doesn't have a conical kind of funnel until you get to the drip tip. But it does have that very odd spit back guard. Thing going through there which I know a lot of people are kind of on the fence about but I've got some Lushington in there <laughs> oh, <lovely. laughs> so all in all guys and girls I mean I don't know if you want me to talk about the uh, this little mod that I made or in fact any of the other mods that I've made um, but I will do if you want so let me know uh, what else is there what else is there what else is there oh I've got something very exciting coming up which I will talk about regarding uh, a little mod make making idea that I've got coming on but it's tube related and very exciting uh, what else although generally I tend to buy at the moment I'm buying a lot of genuine products because I just like them not for any kind of arsey reason I still have uh, I still have some splendid clones that I like using but there's a lot of very affordable genuine products on the market at the moment and definitely definitely worth a look at but I did get this horrific thing So I, I wanted to get a couple of cheap copper uh, mods to, to have a play with something with. Um, so got onto the old fast heck people. Don't turn off now. But got that. And that is possibly the worst atomizer I've ever used in my life. Because it has the worst airflow ever. And the worst wicking and juice. And uh, there's just nothing cool about that at all. So I imagine that will be going in the bin. I still haven't um, oiled my chair, so that's still squeaky as you like. And is there anything else? Is there anything else? Is there anything else? I don't think there is. So, 
ladies and gentlemen. What are we at? Just under 20 minutes. That's not a bad one. I'm going to have one of those moments when I finish where I'm going to think, oh, shit, I should have said that. No, no, I can't think of what it is. Oh, I sold my um, Rose V2, unfortunately. It turns out that it is a gentleman's vape. It's a brilliant, brilliant atomizer tank. And it's it, it works wonderfully. It's a great job once you coil it properly and you do a good job of it. It's, it's a splendid thing. However, I'm not delicate enough for it. I'm not delicate enough for the build. I'm not delicate enough for, for, for gentleman vaping. If it's not balls out air, I'm not playing. That's as gentleman as I get. So. Yeah, no, I think I'm good. I think I'm good with a snug fitting t-shirt. Cool though, isn't it? Should have ironed it possibly but otherwise my friends i think we're all good oh, i've tidied my desk that's that's super exciting in my broken ways yesterday i've still got my buggered spine from a bulging disc at the moment so i'm walking everywhere with a stick and having a little cry on a regular basis but um that sucked by the way around vape jam having a um having to go everywhere on uh, with a walking stick because Although it wasn't stupidly busy, it was kind of three or four deep on occasions at some of the vendors that I wanted to go and speak to, and I just couldn't stand up in order to, uh, excuse me, in order to uh, in order to do it, which sucked. But I paid for the VIP um, ticket, which was useful because more often than not, I got to be able to have a seat of some kind. A couple of issues with that, but hopefully that's getting rectified as we speak but otherwise no ladies and gentlemen I think that's it so me and my little homemade 350 J class <laughs> oh this is cool I should probably say about this for those of you that are seeing that little bit there that haven't seen that before I decided that I needed to really be a geek <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that look. <laughs> hey, I'll do a little bit of vape voice down there. See if, see if it attracts some ladies. <laughs> so vape voice is absolutely the way forward. All good? <laughs> oh dear, it's the little things. I tell you, when I put this, this boom stand on here, um, the other night, I honestly thought I was some kind of monster DJ. I should have had a television show or something. Midnight Caller or something along those lines. It was awesome. But, it really is it this time. So, thank you to all the people that I met over at Vape Jam. Uh, thank you very much to Stash E-Liquids. Thank you very much to the vendors that gave me Juice to review. They will be forthcoming. And... It was also meeting people like Phil and Dimitri, like Jabo, like Martin Parker, and got to hang out with uh, my buddy Rick at Modmaker as well, which was superb. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about me covered. So thank you very, very much for watching. And, as usual, have it large, won't you? Thank you all.